Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Volumes 1 through 3 of Superman Action Comics. They are Volume 1, Path of Doom, Volume 2, Welcome to the Planet, and Volume 3, Men of Steel. Together, they cover issues 957 through 972 of the Superman Action Comics. These are a continuation of the previous run, but it's still a pretty decent jumping on point if you've never read these before, but it also does rely on narratives of things that have happened and they're alluded to, but not fully explained. So if you're a completist, maybe not the best one to just jump into. Kind of depends on your ability to just roll with it. Art and rating on these are by Dan Jurgens, Patch Zercher, Tyler Kirkham, Steven Segovia, Art Thiebert, and Ty Tom Grummet. And this is part of DC Universe's Rebirth. So in Volume 1, Path of Doom, Superman returns. Sort of. So in the previous comics, our world Superman has been killed by this monster called Doomsday. And we now have a new Superman from a parallel universe showing up and stepping into that role. There is also Lex Luthor, who has built himself a super suit and is also trying to take on the name Superman and Clark Kent, a completely human version, not super powered Clark Kent shows up and that's a bit of a mystery. So in these comics we have Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and their son John who seems to be about six or seven maybe. They are from a parallel world. They seem to have been in this world for a bit but have been hiding. But they also have a different history and timeline and past than our Superman did. When Lex Luthor shows up on television in his brand new super suit and claiming the title of Superman, Clark is not happy about this and he kind of just rushes in it to the scene in full Superman suit and starts arguing with Lex. Be like, hey, I'm Superman. I'm right here. You can't be Superman. Basically, Lex Luthor is trying to turn over a new leaf and protect the city. Or at least that's what he's telling everybody. Superman, however, does not trust Lex Luthor at all. There is way too much bad blood between him and the Lex Luthor of his, his world, as well as the Lex Luthor on our world hasn't necessarily been the greatest ever. Although there isn't any evidence of massive wrongdoing. And then we have Clark Kent showing up on the scene, ready to cover the story for the Daily Planet. And everybody's like, yo, Clark Kent is Superman. And Clark Kent's like, no, I'm human. I was never Superman. That was Superman's lie to try to do this thing with investigating a story slash protecting me. Um, but hey, I'm actually really not dead. Also, we get to see Jimmy Olsen in here, and I love, I love Jimmy. He's awesome. In the storyline, we also have the villain Doomsday showing up, who had killed the previous Superman. And basically, we have this one really giant fight scene happening between Superman and Lex Luthor trying to take down Doomsday. And Wonder Woman shows up to help in the story, which is pretty cool. So here we've got our first showdown between Superman Lex Luthor, or Super Lex, that's what I'm calling him, and Parallel World Superman showing up, start fighting with each other. Also we've got Lois Lane and their son John, and I super love the family dynamic. It's one of my favorite parts of these comics. Getting to see Superman and Lois Lane married and like having a family. I love it. I love it so much. Um, probably should have been reading Superman comics all along. And here we've got the villain Doomsday and Wonder Woman showing up. I like Wonder Woman, so exciting. I also really love Superman. So volume one, I gave four stars. Uh, not a huge fan of the giant fight scene that takes place over the course of several issues. Although there's enough storyline and character driven stuff happening kind of in the middle of that fight as we're watching Lois Lane and John's reaction to Superman fighting and also Superman trying to think out what's happening and put stuff into perspective so I can kind of deal with it even though I'm not the biggest fan of fight scenes honestly. So moving on to volume two, Welcome to the Planet, we have a prequel story kind of explaining what's going on with Lex Luthor and why he's trying to be Superman and what his thinking is. So if you want Lex Luthor's backstory, good one to check out. Also we have Superman trying to figure out what's up with this human Clark Kent 
because Superman is Clark Kent. He's like, something's not right here. So he tries to put Clark through tests to see if he's lying. And then we find out that Clark and the other Superman have been investigating this company called Genetic Ron, and they've got some weird stuff going on. Um, and this world's Lois Lane has gone missing, and our parallel world, Lois, is trying to find out what happened to her counterpart that she feels especially connected to. So we also have Lois trying to investigate the other Lois Lane and find out why she went missing. Um, I totally dig these. We get a look inside the Daily Planet, and Lux Luthor now owns the Daily Planet, so that kind of complicates things a bit. I'm trying to watch Lois and Clark with their son. I love it so much, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, favorite part of these stories, not even gonna lie. Volume 2, Welcome to the Planet, I ended up giving four stars, mostly because I loved all the super family dynamics. I love it. Also, Lois Lane. Lois trying to be the other Lois. I just, I love Lois Lane. She's amazing. Honestly, I would read Lois Lane's own comics. Okay, and then finally, Volume 3, Men of Steel. We have more investigating of this company, Genetic Con, because apparently that wasn't enough. Genetic Ron. Such a huge mystery in this series. Still don't know what's quite going on with that. We also have Lois posing as the other Lois to investigate and taking on her job at the Daily Planet. We see the relationship between the human Clark and Lois. Human Clark doesn't know that this Lois is not his Lois, so that's kind of awkward, as Lois is married but can't tell him that. And there is this alien known as God Killer, who is coming to take Lex Luthor out uh, before Lex can become really truly evil. And there's this moral dilemma about, can you pass judgment on somebody for something they haven't even done yet? Basically, if you had a chance to kill baby Hitler, would you do it? Superman especially trying to grapple with that morality. Oh yeah, we've also got John trying to test out his powers and his dad trying to teach him how to be uh, morally responsible with them and control them. I really loved watching that. But at the same time, everybody's trying to hide John. They don't want Superman's enemies to find out about his son and use that against him and also just protect the little kid basically. So volume three, I ended up giving three stars. Wasn't quite as invested in the whole Lex Luthor versus the God Killer storyline as I was the others, although I was really excited about seeing Lois do her thing. So my overall opinion of the series so far is, or at least this section of the series, is that I really love the family dynamic between Clark, Lois, and John. I love watching Lois do her thing really interested in John and how he grows up. I also really want to know what's up with this human version of Clark Kent because Superman is Clark Kent. Where did this human version come from? Can he be trusted? Also, I don't care how many times this comic series tells me to trust Lex Luthor. It's not happening. I am 100% behind Superman's wariness on this. I actually really liked the art style in these comics and I totally recommend these although it's not the best jumping on point because it does talk about things that happened in the past. Things that happened with Lex Luthor, um, things that happened with Superman dying and the fight with Doomsday. So I felt a little bit left out and kind of like I need to go read the action comics before this, but you can do it. You can jump in here and read these from where they are and it's fine if you're not a huge completionist. So there's my review for action comics, uh, volumes one through three of DC Rebirth. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have read these or if you're planning on reading them now or if you're gonna pass. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.